Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for end of day session, 4th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so looking at the actual uh, numbers for closing, the markets remain formidable still. Uh, European session, the FTSE 100. Even though we had the uh, the biggest fallers today being uh, Marks and Spencers, okay, uh, biggest fallers being uh, the next uh, as well company or organization in terms of lower profits down 14% today. Yet the FTSE 100 still manages to uh, actually finish positive, which is very very baffling. Okay, uh, also given the fact that oil prices fell uh, drastically from 55 to almost 52. And yet the FTSE still manages to eke out again. It really is baffling, folks. Okay, it certainly looks like the bears have totally, totally given up altogether. Okay, uh, I did expect the actual gap to potentially close, especially in the back of a week of oil prices. Although we did have the uh, the Nikkei up 2.5 percent today, the uh, Shanghai up higher as well by 0.7 percent, and yet the market still, like I said, managed to uh, eke out gains. So. Certainly seems that bearish news no longer holds true anymore, especially for the FTSE 100 and also European markets to a large extent as well. We also had a rally in sterling and yet that still failed to deter the FTSE 100. If I bring up the chart of uh, GBP USD, you'll clearly see. Okay, certainly seems like I don't want the chart here anymore. Okay, bear with me one second while I quickly bring up the chart. Okie dokie, GBP USD. Here we go. Okay, so GBP USD. If we bring up the uh, 60 minute chart for sterling, you can see we've had a, a potential rally from 1.22 up to 1.2320, 2.340. So an impressive rally at that. Okay, so on sterling. So again, certainly looking uh, looking impressive on sterling. Also, if I bring up a chart of oil as well, you can see we've had quite a sell off on oil, rejecting that uh, $55 level. Quite a, yeah, an impressive sell-off, although we have obviously found support in this region here. Okay, for now, but oil certainly selling off, and yet the FTSE 100 is still unfazed. Now the German DAX finished flat, the CAC finished flat, IBEX down, uh, FTSE MIB actually higher, Italian index is on fire. Okay, and stock 600 certainly weaker as well. Okay, now in terms of economic data, we had stronger data out for the eurozone in general. Okay, stronger data out for the. Um, the French and uh, Italian to a large extent, okay, but the main concern really in Europe now, right now, should be higher inflation, and that's what sent the uh, Euro USD higher today as well. So if I bring up the chart on the Euro USD, you can see we've certainly found resistance at this 1.0490 zone, okay. So Euro USD certainly uh, very bullish today on the back of stronger, obviously, inflation numbers and inflation readings. So therefore, that's considered negative because stronger inflation basically indicates tapering. Tapering obviously indicates no more QE. And that indicates a higher euro, and therefore you're looking at uh, at uh, at risk off. Okay, so again, a risk off in general. Okay, now daily chart you of the uh, S and P Europe three uh, three hundred and fifty. You can see that we are into horizontal resistance. You have diagonal trend line, so again you're looking at resistance here. Okay, sixty minute chart at the moment you're still holding that topping tail from yesterday, and therefore looking for a flush, as I said the day before. So you are looking for a flush. Okay on the European equities and that's my understanding and my interpretation as I explained yesterday you have that key pivotal 11610 resistance on the uh, German DAX gap fill holding okay and therefore looking to reverse now today we did actually uh, see some um, selling until we actually reverse towards the uh, the end of the session so again certainly needs to be respected to a large extent so certainly keep an eye on there okay 10 minute chart as well the German DAX certainly held that double bottom scenario and then obviously started to rip higher. So the bulls certainly are certainly winning on this occasion, but the bears certainly winning to a large extent as well. Okay, and it'll be interesting to see well if we do actually continue to march higher, what happens in that 11600 zone again. From my interpretation and my expectation is that we are looking at a lower high, lower low here, and we are looking for a lower high again. Okay. 60 minute chart looking to potentially test the uh, lower 11.480 and below. Okay, now moving on to the French CAC here. 
French CAC actually closed the gap. Once we closed the gap, we started to rally quite impressively. Okay, we've closed this gap now as well. So if anything, the Euro, the French CAC really is the weakest link. Okay, now you are coming into resistance now at 4,900. So watch out for resistance there in terms of French CAC. If we start to rip higher again, then we go back and retest that 4,930 zone. The 60-minute chart really high is all about the 60-minute chart. You are looking at the potential topping tail there. Now, I did actually expect this market to flush and actually start to move lower, but now we're looking at a HS formation. So, from my understanding and my interpretation of TA right now, if you are trading the French CAC, you're looking at a potential HS formation top here. So, you've got your left shoulder that's obviously been put in here, you've got your head that obviously that's been put in here, you're looking at consolidation here, and then we're looking to potentially flush lower. So, this is the potential right shoulder on the back of a stronger euro. And you are looking at the HNS formation, especially given the fact that we've actually gone and closed the gap now. Okay, so again, you've broke out of that uh, bullish channel. You're basically uh, triggering this HNS formation. Okay, so again, looking to potentially move lower. Okay, so break a bullish channel, HNS formation, looking to flush. Now, the pivot high here is uh, 4430. Uh, Your neckline is uh, 4870. Uh, or 4880 so you are looking at a potentially 50 point drop okay so you're looking at 4840 4830 so again certainly does make technical sense for a potential flush lower on the french cac okay FTSE 100 uh, this is an annoying index okay uh, the weekly chart obviously you can see a breakout so you can see why individuals are certainly uh, afraid of potentially or maintaining short positions daily chart we do have an unfilled gap left behind us especially with the euro flushing sterling moving higher I argument really is for the downside 60 minute chart we're still holding that potential to a top here so if you look at the 60 minute chart you're looking at 7204 really being the potential pivot top hence the reason why I've gone short with a potential stop loss above that okay uh, going over to a 10 minute chart now you have that clear HNS formation so still look a hold maintaining and holding that right shoulder and looking for the market to flush flush down to gap fill which is at 7120 okay all right, folks, I think that's a sufficient uh, insight with regards to European indices and where they stand. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.